There are a lot of things that you need to consider before you start planting wheat, and one of those things is pest control, especially the Haitian fly. Here to talk to us about that is Tom Royer. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Great. Let's talk about the Haitian fly. First of all, what is it? The Haitian fly is a small, very tiny fly that you wouldn't even, if you were out in a wheat field, you'd never even notice because it's really tall, small and innocuous, but it causes lots of problems because when it lays an egg on a plant, the larvae hatches, crawls down and feeds on that plant and causes a lot of yield loss. Um, so if you can't see it, I mean, what, what are some ways to detect it? How do you know it's there? Uh, most of the time, the, the easiest way for us to detect it is we see it after it's caused the problems. Oh, okay. And that's, the, that's the, the, the biggest problem with the fly. But uh, we're working on some new technologies and, and things that we can do to help uh, determine whether that fly is going to be a problem or not in an area and we can talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so first things first, what do producers need to do? I think one of the, as, as a producer is deciding what seeds they're going to use and what seeds they want to uh, plant their fields to, have them consider uh, which varieties may have resistance or partial resistance to hessian fly. That can help. Uh, once they do that, they have to start thinking about when they're going to plant the wheat, uh, what kind of tillage they're going to use and, and uh, some of those things so that they can decide whether they maybe need to use a, an insecticide treatment or not. Okay, let's talk about the planting date. I mean, what, when do they know to plant? Like, what are they waiting for? Uh, oftentimes, the later a producer can wait to plant their wheat within a, the window where they can still get good yield, the better off they'll be. Um, up farther north, we have something called the uh, fly-free date. It doesn't really work here in Oklahoma, but we do know that um, they, they can tend to avoid really heavy infestations if they can delay planting uh, and push the window towards the end of their optimal time for planting, say like uh, late, late September to early October. Okay, and what is some of the technology that you guys are using to help detect this? Well, as I said, there's some, there are some resistant varieties. We don't have very many, but uh, we do have a, a fact sheet that uh, lists uh, some of the characteristics of the varieties and it does talk about whether the what wheat varieties have resistance or partial resistance. And again, the, 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 uh, the planting date window can help. Um, clean tillage can help or destroying volunteer wheat that's uh, in an area. Um, clean tillage helps because the Hessian fly actually over summers in uh, the residue and the stubble that is, remains in the field. So someone that's practicing conservation tillage or no-till, uh, especially if they're planting wheat after wheat, can uh, have a problem that's already sitting there waiting for that new wheat to come up. Um, so in, in a case of someone like that, they need to be thinking about some of the other things they can do. Crop rotation is another option. Uh, uh, planting, that's why we're looking at canola so much because it actually provides an alternative rotation crop for wheat. Uh, allows for good weed control, but it could probably also help manage hessian fly a little bit. Okay. And then finally, one of the things that, uh, that we can think about is uh, using a seed treatment. What we do know is that seed treatments, again, work best when they're combined with, uh, if you can delay planting a little bit, um, they'll work better. Um, if a producer has a wheat field that's maybe next to another field that's in no-till wheat, uh, they might want to consider using a seed treatment because these flies can move out of one wheat field and move into another even if even if it's a clean tilled field so you get that spillover effect so there's all kinds of things there that uh, the the Really, there's a lot of things a producer needs to uh, consider before. So you brought something with you today. What is this thing used yeah, for? This is a Hessian fly monitoring device, and we put a stake in it. And this is the Hessian fly trap that we use. It's baited with a pheromone and got a sticky trap on the bottom. Okay. And we just uh, place it so it's just above the, the canopy. Um, and it sits there and waits for those Hessian flies to come out and trap them. Come and there out. you go. There we go. Simple technology but it's gonna tell us a lot about the biology of the thing. All right, so producers, on a final note, just do lots of research before you start planting. Absolutely, it's, right. it's a complicated problem. All right, thank you so much for your time today, Tom.